Hey everybody, it's Andy from Snow Camp Shore Up, and in this short vlog, we are going to show you how we work with ski teachers to correct some technical issues. So the ski teacher I'm working with today is Tate. He's been a ski teacher for a few years and he started skiing a few weeks ago at the start of the season and he's got a little bit of an issue going on with his pole um, plant and his arm carriage. But what's happening is, as you can see from these photos, Tate is holding his hand in front of his belly button almost rather than out to the side. And this means that when he makes his pole plant with his left hand, he has to open his arm up to allow him to plant. Now this could lead to other issues. So we're going to try and fix this today. Now it's not unheard of for ski teachers to train. We all need to be we all need to train and we all need to be trained. Um, and we can do this on a one-to-one -one basis. You can do it on your own, a little bit of self-learning. And we also do it in groups where there are many teachers' eyes on each other so we can all always spot something that we can help people with. So today I'm working with Tate and we're going to try and solve this arm carriage problem. Uh, what we're not going to do is we're not going to go and do short turns or long turns at speed to try and solve the arm carriage problem. We're going to slow everything down, go back to some basics and then build back in a better arm carriage um, and then build it back up through the ski progression so he has less to can concentrate on. He can concentrate on the arm carriage, he can concentrate on the pole plant and then we will build back into some long turns at the end. So here's how we're going to do it. Just take a little look. So as you can see, we're on a very, very gentle slope and we're giving Tate just some very basic exercises to try and get his arms up and forward and to eradicate this left arm sitting over his belly button. And as you can see, we're just giving Tate some basic snow plow exercises, a gliding plow, just so he can feel his arms being in that correct position at a slow speed. So as you can see now, Tayton is balancing his poles on the back of his hands, which means if he was to move that left hand down and into his belly button area, then he would drop the poles. So this is a great way of ensuring he keeps his arms up and forward. As you can see there, we're just getting Tate to do some basic snowplow turns, just working again on the arm carriage, keeping the arms in a nice position, up away from the body, slightly out to the side. At the moment, no movement. He's just concentrating on the pole carriage, having his arms in the right position, trying to eradicate this, this, this feeling of wanting to hold his left arm over his navel, belly button area, which we've seen on the, the previous video. So we started with some shoes exercises, then we did some plow exercises, just so he could slow the skiing down and concentrate on where his arms were. Now we're building in the turns and then we're gonna gradually increase the complexity of the turn through the progression of skiing, bring back in the pole plant, and then hopefully by the time we finish, we'll see a nice run of long turns with good arm carriage and a good precise pole plant. So now we've got Tayton doing a basic uh, plow parallel. So his skis are coming together at the end of the turn. But again, the main concentration is on his arm carriage and his arm position throughout the turn. Now we're going to do something a little bit more difficult and we're going to challenge Tate to keep his arms in that nice up, forward, out to the side position whilst balancing snowballs on the back of his hands. Because if he can ski a run whilst balancing snowballs on the back of his hand, then he for sure can ski a run just holding his poles with his arms in the right place. You would think. We're going to now move away from the very gradual slope and we're going to go to um, a, 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 a gradual blue run and we're going to start doing some uh, longer radius turns um, still with a couple of exercises to try and keep his arms in that right position and then we're going to build that through as we've said all the way to the end and hopefully we'll see some nice turns with the pole plant. So as you can see here, we're using a pole position band with Tate. This um, is this bright um, orange in colour, so you can see it easily. Um, what Tate is trying to do is trying to keep the band at a consistent height with a little bit of tension. 
um, so the band is nice and taut and uh, this is a fantastic teaching aid um, for people who have problems with their arm carriage as you can see. So as you can see, we started to get Tate to do some uh, basic turns, holding his arms in a nice position. And now we're gonna start to reintroduce the pole plant. And one way that we do that is we actually use the magic carpet. Um, and as Tate goes up the magic carpet, he can practice the pole movement, and that will be the pole moving from the wrist. So now that we've been on the magic carpet, Tate is now gonna try and ski with a pole plant reintroduced whilst using the pole plant band so the first thing he's doing is a stand exercise just to get that movement into his head So now we've, refer we've removed the, um, the pole band and Tate is now going to do a run of regular, relatively slow long turns with a pole plant, hopefully keeping his arms in the right position once he sorts out his pole straps. <laughs> So as you can see folks, this is how we work with ski teachers to correct little um, or little mistakes and things that come into the technique that you maybe not want over the summer period. We've taken Tate right back to the beginning. We've done some very slow skiing exercises. We've built it back up. Um, we used the pole position band, which is a great teaching aid, as I said earlier. And now the big test is whether Tate can come down this steeper pitch doing sporty um, dynamic short turns with his poles in the right position so let's have a little look uh, if you've liked this vlog please do hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and comment or questions below it's Andy for so camp Europe say thanks for watching and bye for now <laughs> okay, go. Okay, make another one. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Take 254,301 million. Now ski before you drop them.